Hello everyone, it's Sherry from Sherry's Painting and today we're going to be painting uh, Santa's gifts. Um, so I start, I'm using a 9 by 11 inch canvas, uh, um, a half inch flat brush to apply this base coat and I have mixed together burnt, burnt umber, fire red and black together to make this uh, deep um, rusty color um, and we will be going to the end of the canvas and as we get closer to the other end of the canvas we'll be using uh, yellow ochre and brown and then finally just yellow on the end so um, blend all of that together um, do d use an up and down brush stroke as you do this um, and just you know um, blend so that you can't see where one starts and the other stops. We want to avoid any kind of cut marks in here as well. So for this painting we will be using water, um, chalk, paper towel for drying your brushes, and also a um, several brushes of your choosing. A small brush, a medium brush, a large brush is usually what I use and a fine script liner as well. So, so um, do up your um, base coat, cover your edges, and then we'll go on to the next step when the canvas is completely dry. Okay, we'll see you on the next step. So for the step, um, you'll need your chalk. I've made a dot about a third of the way down the canvas on the right hand side. And then I've gone from the top and made a dot about uh, two thirds of the way down as well as a dot uh, just down to the left of that dot. And then I'm connecting them all. We're making his sleeves and his cuffs with the chalk that's Santa's of course um, and then I'm going to make his thumb his pointer finger um, which will be um, holding the gifts packages and then just a couple of small little round pieces to indicate his um, his hand holding the packages I'm going to go up on that sleeve about two to three inches and make a line up and then just angle it off to the right a little bit going to make another square with a slight angle on top of that as well as the angle for the other box so take your time with your angles on this step you guys um you know to to try and get that right and um and then i'm drawing a box in between his thumb and his pointer finger as well as that last finger there because that's what they're all going to be sitting on and and also i'm drawing the indication of a background tree as well and trying to get the angles on my boxes so um, take your time with that step and um, when you're happy with your design it doesn't have to be exactly like mine um, if you don't want we will see you on the next step Okay, everyone so for this step we're going to be blocking in that Christmas tree and I kind of wanted to have a fuzzy sort of background look to it so I'm using black and green as well as just green and light green and I'm sort of just putting them all on my brush haphazardly and you know not making my strokes in any particular direction I, I kind of want the tree um, to look like an evergreen and just give the impression of um, of how how the tree would look if you're looking at it from a distance so um, you know just use your brush I'm using my half inch flat brush for this but you can use whatever brush you prefer and you know maybe you want your tree to be white it doesn't necessarily have to be green um, but um, just you know fill that little block part in where we put the chalk in for that tree uh, and um, use your your lighter green your medium green and your darker green and your black as well and that just gives the tree a little bit of depth so um, don't like I said don't worry about um, too much I just want don't want any hard edges by the boxes there so sometimes you might have to use your fingers for that um, and once I'm done with the flat brush here, I'm going to pick up my round brush and I'm going to try and bring out the stems a little bit while that paint is still wet. Or I guess not the stems, but the um, the edges of the tree, the, the pine needles and etc. And adding a bit more light onto that as well. And um, 
And then what, what we're doing is we're going to block in his sleeves as well. So with the sleeves, I've got a mixture of red and black, very little amount of black because it really can be quite overpowering. And you can go right up to your chalk line there and just fill it in. There's no particular stroke here either. This is just the base coat. We'll be adding all kinds of stuff to it. It's, it's a layer process. So uh, we'll add to that. I do pick up um, a little bit of black uh, as well just to put to the bottom of the sleeve there um, to add in a little bit of shadow um, and we also will be blocking in that sleeve behind leave the chalk mark in between there now just as a separation so you don't lose where you are and again once you get to those boxes just um, you know make it a little bit softer for the boxes there um, so we have room to put those but so now I'm adding in just a touch of black at the bottom of the sleeves there just to add a little bit of shadow and you know and you can pick up a little bit more of your red to blend it in a little bit and then we are going to go on to the next step. So for this step, we're going to be blocking in his hands and the cuffs of his um, jacket, of Santa's jacket. So just a, a medium gray mixture, just take some black, uh, a tiny bit of black, a little bit of white, and mix it together. And again, not worrying too much about the stroke, we're just getting... Um, we're just blocking in the um, cuff as well as Santa's hands. So, um, you know, use your grays, leave a little bit of separation again between the cuff and the hands, as well as the fingertips. And we will come back and we will add shadows to that, as well as lights to our tree on the next step. So for this step, we're going to be adding lights to the tree. So I start out with white. I'm using my script liner brush and I'm just putting them everywhere. Um, even some that are off the tree is good too. Um, just add them wherever you like. You can use you can use whatever colors you like as well. I use a cup. I'm going to use a couple of different colors um, in this step. So I'm starting out with the white and I'm just putting them everywhere I can think of really and um, and then I'm going to um, switch to yellow so just the bright yellow and I'm going straight from the puddles of paint and you know just putting them on in a haphazard uh, fashion and um, also I will be switching to red because I like multicolored trees so <laughs> yay um, so anyway so yellows um, blues um whatever color you like um i'm i add all of those colors um to the lights on the tree i just want them to coincide with the gifts that we will be um boxing in as well or blocking in next but so i use the yellow i use the white i use the red and I use the blue for uh, my Christmas tree. The blue that I'm using is a lighter blue as well, just to let you know, but you can use whatever colors you like. Um, and so once you have finished that, then um, we will see you all then um, in the next step of the painting where we will be blocking in the gifts. So we'll see you all on the next step. Okay, so once you've got your lights on your tree, um, let's go ahead and start blocking in those gifts. Now, these gifts here, I am using the same um, colors that I used on my tree just because I want to incorporate all the colors everywhere. But, you know, depending on what you did for your tree, you might, you know, want to do something completely different. Um, so the first box here, I'm going with the blue and I'm just going right to the edges. No in particular, no direction in particular with the stroke. Um, uh, we will be putting bows on this and stuff too. So um, just block it in. I am leaving a little bit of separation again um, for my uh, perspective lines. Um, so you can do that as well. 
Um, this, the box that's underneath this um, blue box, I am going to paint a green color. And just to mention, I am using my small round brush because I feel like I, it just gives me a little bit more control. The light will be coming in from pretty much the center because it, it can come in from everywhere really be, just because of the tree. And I'm sure there's candles and lights and you know, it's the Christmas ambience. So um, do your gifts, whatever color you like. Um, the second one here I'm doing is the green. And um, I believe I do the um, little one beside the blue one. I believe I do in a, uh, I mix a little bit of black, a little bit of red together, just like what we did with the sleeve of his um, jacket and, um, or his Santa suit. And um, careful of your angles. And again, just leave a little bit of separation there. So this box I'm doing green, the box um, beside the blue box I'm going to do red, and then the bottom box I'm going to do yellow. So just be careful when you're going around the fingers and stuff um, of Santa's. I mean, it's not terribly important if you run into it because we're going to be going over it with really thick paint anyway. But um, And try and keep your angles right. And, um, and then once you have completed the colors that you want for your gifts, then um, we will go on to the next step. Um, so again, I'm using red, blue for the top, red for the one next to it, green for the one he's actually holding. And then I'm using a yellow at the bottom just to incorporate all the different colored lights I have on the tree. So once you've done that, we are gonna go right back to our next step. I'll see you on the next step. So for this step, we're going to be adding uh, a few shadows here and there. So I've just got, I mixed a little bit of black paint and a little bit of brown paint. And I'm just placing a shadow underneath the tree there. And we will be um, putting in um, lights as well, but they'll be, you know, shadowed on the floor and sort of reflecting off the floor. But that'll be in a later step because we're still going to do um, something with the bottom of the canvas there, though I haven't quite decided what yet. But um, so I'm also using br more brown black um, just to shade uh, underneath that box there at the top. And if you use the brown and then the black and then just outline the bottom of the box and then go with the original color of green and you can sort of blend those in together so that they you know, look like they fit. And same with the under the red box there. Um, and again, same when you are doing the um, the um, shadows um, on the other box as well. I'm also adding in just a little bit more green um, and because that's going to be the highlighted portion of our box there. It'll be darker toward the bottom, but we're not getting quite all the shadows on this step, but I just want to get an idea of where um, they need to go. So now I'm putting the shadow underneath the green box as well as um, next to his um, jacket. Also in his jacket there, I want the shadow at the bottom of the sleeve. Um, so just put in a little bit of dark. And then again, you can add your original um, red color that we had mixed together, the red and the black, and sort of blend those in together. I'm also gonna be creasing the fabric here as well. Um, just put in a few little shadows there and we will go in and, and I'll show you how to work those too um once we get to that step but just where the little bumps and nooks and crannies are just put some shadow in there also around his sleeve as well he needs shadow in there and around the gloves um, that he's wearing will probably make the fingers a little bit longer because <laughs> they're pretty short and stubby but hey i make mistakes too so um but so for this step, just add the few shadows that I, I'm working on here. And um, 
and then we're going to add to that too as we um, get to a later stage in the in the painting but I just want to know where I'm going with this and um, it's kind of on the fly so um, hopefully you guys can keep up but um, so you can pause the video anytime and um, you know take your time on this step same with the yellow I'm just going in with a little bit of brown and then I'm adding um, that little bit of yellow um, in there too and in between the um, the hands and the, the gloves on the box as well. Um, then I am on the box there, I think, again, and just um, doing a little extra in there, adding a few little shadows. And anywhere you feel like, you know, this, the um, light would not be hitting like we may end up darkening the sides of the boxes a little bit more so that the tops really pop out but now i'm just going there on the side of his um on the side of his glove a little bit or on the side of his um arm a little bit and again we will be going over that in a later step once i see how it dries and then we can decide where we're going from there um I'm adding a little bit of a light blue color to the top of the box because that's the part that's going to be really in the light as well. So doing that a little bit and again, um, going back to um, the other box and adding a few more shadows in there as well. So again, just take your time on this step, pause the video, and um, think about where your light source is. It's coming from sort of the center of the, of the painting. Now I'm adding a few more shadows and creases there, just darkening those up a little bit. I feel like they just need to be a bit darker in his sleeve there, in his sleeves and along in the floor. And we will see you all on the next step. Okay, everyone, so for this step, we are, um, we're just gonna add a little more to our boxes, so um, our gifts, because um, we need to do that before we go ahead and do his um, Santa's suit there. So, um, so I did change the angle of Santa's suit a little bit, because um, I felt it just didn't look right, so <laughs> we're allowed to do that as artists. Um, so now I'm just filling in that first box there with a little bit of a brighter blue at the top and um, and then I'm going to shade at the bottom of the box as it gets to the bottom because it'll be a little bit uh, not quite as bright in that area um, and then also on the side I'll be adding a little bit there as well to the blue one this step is going to be all about getting our boxes in order everybody our gifts for for um, for Santa's presents so so I'm just using the blue there and just filling in, blocking in. I'm using my small brush, but in hindsight, I probably could have used my flat brush. It would have been a lot faster. But again, um, we learn as we go. I've never done uh, a stack of boxes before, so this is my first time out doing that. So um, then I'm going to add a little red to the other box. Um, just to add a little extra color, I found it was fading into that wall a little bit, but I mean, depending on what color your gifts are, um, you can do, you know, whatever you see fit on yours. But so adding a little bit of red to this, and then I'm going to end up adding a little shadow in behind again, but I'm going to put some white stripes on that too. So not quite yet. Going to let that dry for a minute. Not doing too much to the side there. I might add a little bit of red, but it's, yeah, I do, but it's kind of in the shadow, so. And a little bit of shadow underneath that box with just a little bit of brown, a little bit of black, because we have to make them look like they're sitting on top of each other. So 
this is where the shadows would go and then i'm going in with the green okay and i'm using actually the christmas green here i've got the hunter green underneath but i'm using the christmas green here because again it's going to be a little bit lighter but i do go in and add, sh add shadows as well when you are adding the shadows um, you just use your shadow color the brown and the black and then you can um, you can just um, mix it in with the green. So add the shadow color, bring it out a little bit with your brush, and then you can mix it right in with the, with the green. <clears throat> so again, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna highlight that because I sort of missed that part. <laughs> again, we're learning. It's all a process, so. All right, so I just highlighted the top of that box a little bit too with a little bit of a lighter green mixture and I'm fading it in to that green. And then on the bottom part of the box, I'm gonna go with the hunter green and just to make it a bit darker because again, it's gonna go in shadow. So I'm not really using that Christmas green here. I'm using more of the hunter green. And I will be going in and doing a shadow there um, against Santa's suit there as well. In between and with that I'm just adding a little bit of um, not quite there yet but adding a little bit of black in between his coat sleeves his cuff and the thumb and then I'm just going to go back in with that hunter hunter green and blend it all together just because there's going to be a shadow back there where where that is as well so we go and do that and go all the way from his cuff sleeves and I mean, we will be adding, you know, a lot of highlights. This project, um, it turned out a little bit more challenging than I thought it would. But um, if you take your time with it, it'll be, um, it'll turn out really pretty. So um, just make sure that you are um, blending in that black and brown, because that's what I'm using in between there. There you go. And that looks pretty good, so I'm happy with that. Just gonna outline the side of the box there. And now I'm going in with the yellow just had to mix up my paint and uh, again I'm just using the yellow ochre and going straight on top of that box there because that's going to be fairly bright in there the bottom part will will be a little bit um, darker and I will be adding a shadow as well um, against that um, part at the top there where the other box is resting and now I'm just doing the bottom of the box as well And then we get to put on decorations on the wrapping paper. That's kind of fun. But anyway, that'll be the next step. So now I'm just doing, what am I doing here? Oh, I'm adding the shadow to the side there. Just a little touch of brown with the yellow. And then, um, and then I found that wasn't quite dark enough, so I went with a little bit of black there as well. This is really um, good practice for for angles and perspective and stuff like that. Something that, you know, I'm not always the best at. But so once you've got that all finished up with your wrapping paper, um, we will be going on to the next step. I'm just adding a little more yellow to the bottom of the box there. So we will see you on the next step. Okay, so for this step, we are going to be decorating this blue box. So I'm just putting little snowflakes on, uh, put kind of a light little dusting of them. Uh, mix your brush in, I'm using the liner brush. You can just mix it in um, some water, make it an ink-like consistency and just put snowflakes everywhere. 
um, even on the side there as well, though we won't be able to see those quite as much. And on the top, and we will be placing a bow on this box as well. But so uh, just do your snowflakes and or whatever it is you're doing on your box, you might have something completely different. And um, and then I will be um, uh, doing a bow, I believe. I do outline the top of the box as well. Put some snowflakes up there too. I'm kind of avoiding the middle area a little bit so I can put that bow on. And, and on the red box here, I'm making white stripes. So I'm just, you know, aligning them up. Nothing's perfect, so just lining them up um, and then I'm going to fill that in with a little bit of white in between to make it look more can like a candy cane on that box but again whatever it is you decide to do on your box um, I'm sure will work out lovely you might decide to have all your boxes red or all your boxes green but um so now I'm just going in with my small round brush and I'm filling in the little stripes there and I'm not really worrying too much about staying in the lines. Um, I mean, you know, I'm definitely not perfect for sure. So, um, but I'm just doing a little bit, a little bit lighter uh, or darker toward the base there. And I also will go in at some point and add a little shadow along the side there of the box. But back to this box here, I'm going to add a few more snowflakes and lighten up a few of the ones that I do have once that white paint is dry. And then I'm adding little dots to the end of each of the uh, little um, lines as well, just to make them look a little more round. So it's painstakingly painful, I know, <laughs> but that's me. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist there. So um, so like I said, you definitely don't have to do this in so much depth as what I do. Um, but I just thought it would look really pretty to have little snowflakes on the blue on the blue to make it look all wintry. And then I think I do add dots on there as well. And now I'm brightening up a little bit of that white on the other side now that it's a bit drier. I like my I like my red and white candy stripe box. But again, I'm using my script liner. I really could just use my round brush, but that's okay. And then I'm going back to the snowflakes, adding a few more little dots here and there. And, you know, you guys can pause the video at any time. I know I've said that a lot, but, you know, I mean, sometimes if you really want to take your time, it, it can take, you know, a little bit of time to... Um, to accomplish these things. Rome wasn't built in a day. So now I'm just outlining my box a little bit with the blue and the white at the top there and along the, the top edge. Again, my lines aren't perfectly straight, but you know, that's just all right. And then I go down the side as well. Let's try and straighten it out a little bit because I think I've got it a little bit off. And again, on that side, and like I said, to um, make your brush work like that, just dip it in the water and um, and make it an ink-like consistency. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to I'm going to draw uh, the lines for the ribbon or the bow um, or the ribbon. So. Again, you don't have to have ribbons on yours, but I just thought it would be kind of cute to have ribbon a ribbon on mine. So again, using my liner brush, which I could be using my round brush, but um, I am <laughs> using my liner brush. So there you go, and a little bit more white at the bottom there. There we go. 
I'm having that ribbon just stick out a little bit further on the other side of the box, just so it looks like um, there is. And we will be adding a shadow underneath that ribbon too, but not yet. In fact, I just thought of that, so I'm gonna have to go back in and do that. There you go. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is put a little dot in the middle so I know where my bow is going. And then I'm just going to make four little loops with my round brush to indicate that bow. Nothing fancy, just a little tiny bow. And then I'm going to leave that dry for a bit. Go back to the snowflakes. And I'm just adding a few more dots here and there. And then I decide just to add dots everywhere anyways, just for fun. So. And along on the top there too. There we go. And along the side as well. And I'm adding the dot again in the middle there. And then I'm going to just highlight that other box. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to just add some dots onto the other side of it. I was going to do the stripes again, but I thought I'd do it a little bit different. So just a few little dots there. And now I'm just highlight or going underneath the boxes with some black. Just a thin strip of black just to accent accentuate that shadow a little bit and along the side as well. There we go. And then we are going to be going on um, to completing the uh, snowflake still. And now I've got the white on my brush, so I go in and I dab a little sparkle onto each of those bulbs. Um, well, not the white ones, but the blue ones, the yellow ones, and the red ones on at least half the tree. And it'll look pretty darn sparkly by the time we're done. And you can have as many lights or as few lights. I've added a few more onto the outside just to make it a sparkle a little more. And I think I do about half the tree here, and we'll do the other half when I get more to the other gifts there. I just didn't want to rub my rub anything through if it was wet. So, so now I'm just going to go and I'm going to finish up that bow a little bit, make it a little bit brighter. And I'm just going to go around the edges with the white on the actual bow. Just with a little white, white, white. There we go. And our bow is pretty much finished. I think it looks pretty. And that's it. We'll see you in the next step. So for this step, we're going to be decorating um, the other two boxes. So I am just using straight yellow ochre. And I'm just putting polka dots on this box because I just felt like it needed polka dots. So um, when you're doing the polka dots that are facing you, then they're going to be round. But when you're doing them actually on the box top, you want them to be more of an oval shape and you want them to get smaller as they go into the distance there. 
um, just as a perspective thing, um, if this is what you're doing with yours. But again, if you're doing something completely different, then that's okay too. So I'm just putting polka dots there. And then on the um, box below, I'm just sort of making little C shapes and spiral shapes with the uh, Christmas green color. Um, and so I just add all of those in. And again, at the top, when you're going into the distance, they get smaller as they go into the distance. So I'm um, just putting, I was doing spirals, but then I decided I kind of liked the C shapes better. So, so that's what I decided to do. So, um, and I put quite a few of those on as well. Um, but however many you want on yours and, you know, whatever, whatever makes you happy because this is your painting and you can do whatever it is that you like. Um, and then we are actually, um, I'm actually going to just go over the edges of the, of the box, uh, the green box there with a mixture of white and green using my liner box just to make it a little lighter than the rest of the box. a little light and green just around the edges there. I had to go a couple of times, but I just want to add a little bit extra there to the box. Again, trying to keep my lines straight, but that's okay. Not everything is perfect. And now what I've done is I've mixed a little bit of yellow and white, and I'm just putting a little bit of a highlight on top of those dots up there and a couple on the side of the box as well here. And, um, and then I also am going to mix up a bit of green, the Christmas green and white, and do the same thing on the yellow box below with the Christmas green. There I'm highlighting the side of that box with yellow and white as well. I'm sorry I've got my plate um, over top of uh, the painting there, but I felt I had to hold it instead of go back and forth on the table. So now I'm adding green dots too to the yellow ones because I thought in between I thought it would be kind of a, a cool little effect. Again, you can do with this whatever you like. If you, if you don't want to dawdle like I do on this particular painting, you know, you don't have to. Now I'm adding that same green color just to the top. Of, uh, give a little highlight to some of those little designs on the, on the package. And then we're going straight into his arms. So I'm using um, straight uh, fire red for this. And I've got a little pile of black as well. And I'm just adding in some more shadow as I'm putting on his red and then just sort of blending it all together. I'm using a scruffy brush for this so I can make it look kind of fuzzy and furry. Um, and it, it works out quite well actually. Um, I've added a little bit of white as well. If you're going to add white, you might want to add a little bit of yellow to it. Otherwise, you get kind of a pinky color, but the yellow sort of offsets that about but a bit. But I want the brightest spot to be on the top of his um, sleeve. So you can start with the bright red at the top of the sleeve, and then as you go toward the bottom of the sleeve, you'll actually run out of paint. And, um, and that'll help you fade into the shadow. So here I've added that little bit of white and yellow. And again, just give it a little bit more highlight there. In the end, we will do a final, some final highlights on here as well. But for now, I thought this was good. And then just fade in. I do end up adding some, uh, some indication of little buttons on the front of his jacket there too, but that is later. I think it, I may even twist that canvas a bit so you can't even see that I've done that, but you'll see it in the final, in the end stage. So there you go. You've got that nice and bright white or nice and bright red now. 
and just fade it off. If, if you have to add more black, you can do that too. And then just, you know, like I said, just fade back into that red again. Now I'm doing the other sleeve. And I just want it to look like velvet. doing the other sleeve there and then I'm going to add in and take your time with this you guys pause the video you know I added in a, a few more shadows there again in between and a little bit more red on the top here as well on this sleeve that's closest to us and I like I said I will add a final highlight to that as well as we get down to that step but and then we are going to be doing um i believe his gloves will be doing right away but for now we'll just continue so yeah so here i am i'm doing the gloves now and what i've done is i've taken a pile of white a pile of gray and a teeny teeny weeny little bit of black and again i'm just dabbing with the scruffy brush on here to make those cuffs look furry on his sleeve there and you know don't worry if you're running into the gifts you guys because um honestly you know he's over top of the gift so that's only natural that that would happen so again just adding some bright white to um his sleeve his cuffs and then i'm switching to my round brush and I am adding highlight now to his gloves as well. I don't want this to be fluffy. I want them just to be gloves. So um, just adding a little bit of highlight to his gloves and also adding a few shadows in between his fingers so that we know that there is separation there. And just a little bit of white, um, a little bit of water if you want. I've I used a little bit of water here just for, um, for it to spread out. And I've used my liner brush just to go in with the black and create a few more shadows in between his fingers there as well. And there's a, don't forget that little finger. So those ones aren't as long because they're bent over. So. so that's looking pretty good. I'm liking that. So now what we're doing is I am going in adding a little more light to the sleeves. And I'm adding a few more shadows there in between with just the black um, on the liner brush. I'm also adding dots underneath the tree as well at some point here just for reflection. I decided I'm not doing anything with the base of that um, floor. I'm going to leave it just as it is. And now I'm just going to add a few little highlights there on the on the puffs of his sleeve here with the white straight white paint and the one at the top as well and I'm also um, going to be highlighting because this is a final getting to be one of the final steps now so um, I'm just highlighting with um, thick paint the sides of the boxes and I don't want it just a straight line I kind of want to skip it along just to indicate a bit of a reflection there so you can do that as well along the top with the blue box as well I did add a bit of shadow um, but, um, by that bow as well just to let you know just a little bit of brown in beside on each side of the ribbon and there's the shadow on the front of the box, the green box. And it's not in every, um, every spot, but just a few. And I'm now adding a little highlight to the top 
of the yellow dots and along with the little C shapes that I've got on the other package. And again, this is all just straight white. And again, just adding a little more highlight, a little more shadow, a little more highlight, a little shadow in between his glove and his cuff there and the sleeve and the cuff as well. <clears throat> and then a little more white, more layers on top for the fingers. And then we are just about done, everyone. So I think the only other thing I do, I do go in and highlight the sleeves a little bit with the scruffy brush just because I felt like there needed to be a touch more highlight there where the light is hitting. And other than that, it's assign your work. Make sure to initial your work because if you've done this painting with me, you should be very proud. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next paint. Bye.